emergy light sign. It's incandescent and burned out. It's double face, so that's pretty cool. Here's a dual light LX combo, which is falling off the ceiling, as you can tell. Also, it's a fail because there's an exit this way, but there's no exit this way, so it's kind of sad. I would test it because I have a selfie stick and no one's around, but I'm afraid they'll fall off the ceiling. Here's a generic combo. Let's see if it works. Oh, there we go. Surprising. It does work. Cool. Right, here's a uh, knockoff of the Elphony U2 LED. And it does not work. Here's a big beam combo. And it's sort of dim right there. So here's a dual light LX. A fire extinguisher. Here's a generic emergency light. I just adjusted it. And it does work. As you can tell. Works perfectly. I adjusted it because they were just, this one was just randomly pointed this way and that one wasn't adjusted, so I went ahead and adjusted it. Let's test it one more time. There we go. Here's an interesting door closer I found. It's pretty cool. Here's the bottom of it. It's kind of strange. So let's do it. Pretty interesting slams though, I wonder if you can adjust it. But there it is. Here's the Lithonia EU2 right there. Here's a generic exit sign right there. And it works. I'm just kidding. Here's a generic emergency light that doesn't work. Generic exit sign and a sprinkler and an exit sign plate. I don't even know. Here's an ADT pull station, little Honeywall thing, and a mass, and a Lithonia EU-2. Here's an EST Genesis horn strobe, right here. Here is a EST SIGA adjustable smoke detector. Here is a uh, best lighting generic emergency light. Here's an LC indoor closer, believe it or not. Yep. Here's a best lighting emergency light. It's an EST Sega Pulse Station, EST Genesis Hornstrom, uh, Lithonia Quantum Exit Sign, LC Indoor Closer. There. Nexus Sign used to be there. LCN closer. Here's a EST SIGA. Here's another LCN closer. And then uh you found your quantum sign. So let's see if you can just This right here, like I don't even get. This is supposed to go on the ceiling. I can't tell already, but it doesn't make any sense. They're probably supposed to put it on the ceiling. Here's a, another true alarm detector. We look RSS, 15 candela. No, tr simplex true alarm sprinkler. Redo this because it was pretty bad. What oh, from last night. Oh. There we go. Alright, so now in my hotel room, we have a door closer right here, which is pretty cool. And I think it's made by Norton, I'm not really sure. Um, and these are pretty small. I'd like to have one of these. And there's it compared to my hand. Um, I do want to try to adjust this closer because it slams, but I don't really know how to adjust it. I thought you would stick it in there as like a cover on adjust, but I tried that, it didn't work. So I might, I'll update you guys if I can adjust this because it kind of slams. So let's go ahead and try it. Open it up all the way. You can see it slams, which isn't good. Um, Preloaded a little bit. 
in the bathroom. There isn't a sprinkler, but there is a Wheelock RSS in white. As you can see, and it is on 15 Candela. Don't know if you can see that. So, um, there's no sprinkler in this room. But in the main part, there is a sprinkler. Right up here is a white one, as you can tell, to blend in. I didn't really notice it when we come in. See? Blends in. Stand on the bed. Um, so there it is, right? Here's an up close shot of one. Kind of dusty. So, yep, pretty cool. And the most anticipated part, at least for me, is right here. This right here. It's really cool. Um, we have three alarms. Three fire alarms, or technically. So if we'll start from left to right. First one is a Gentex um, general alarm. Not Gentex, I'm sorry. Uh, Edwards general alarm horn strobe. Um, by general alarm, it's basically any purpose, a general purpose, anything but fire. So it could be like a doorbell, which this in this case this is what it is. A doorbell, um, a car alarm if you really wanted, um, any uh, security alarm, whatever you want. See, Edwards General. And after this clip, I will show you it going off. And it's on. It has a continuous horn, and I'm not sure what the strobe is rated as in Candela. Next to it is a Wheelock NS right here in white. Let's see. Hope we don't have a focus problem. Oh, there was. That was good. And S means signal, and I think, and then 15 means signal 15, I think. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, and it is on 110 Candela. It's pretty bright. I'm not sure what coating. Right beside that is a Gentex smoke alarm um, with a strobe. And as you can see, it's for the ceiling, which is a little bit strange why they have it on the wall. See? It's meant for the ceiling. Um, and there's your test button, and there's your AC light. So, and this strobe is rated 177 Candela. Um, and I think SCR Safety has one of these, but wall mount. That's pretty cool. And this is hardwired, and it has nothing to do with the system. It's just here. And then this is part of the fire alarm system, and so is the RSS. This is the doorbell. So now, let's see the doorbell horn strobe in action. Here's the Lithonia Signature Series exit sign right here. And it works. Here's a Simplex True Alarm smoke detector. Simplex T bar and a Wheelock NS right here. Let's go. This door. Norton door closer. I love that hissing sound. Here's another Simplex True Alarm. And a sprinkler. Here's a sprinkler riser. Pressure looks good. It's a fire extinguisher. So I'll show you guys some things down the hallway. So these are actually emergency lights. It's concealed. When the power goes out, this pops open and the lights come out. And that's remote horn. The key switch. What would it have just blank? Yep. It blinks. It's kind of weird. Keep on going. Some more. Yes. Here's another signature series sign. It doesn't work. And it's pointing at a door. This is a guest room. Doesn't make sense. Here's the hotel. Or, not hotel, elevator room for your elevator fans. Uh, two detectors right beside each other. True alarms. Sprinkler, very dusty. Yes. Better hurry, here comes someone. There's some weird door closers. Another horn. 
for the true mark case in which yes. Another true alarm and a sprinkler. Someone was out there, so we'll wait a minute. There's another sprinkler valve. It's doing great. I still hear him, so let's go down here and see if we can find anything. Sprinkler. Ah, I see. And here's just some more floors and the door closer. Norton, I will demonstrate it. So let's see if they're still out there. And if they are, then maybe we'll demonstrate it. But if they aren't, we'll continue. Alright, I think we're coming. Right, so here's another signature series sign. It works. True alarm NS T bar. Another emergency light. There was a true alarm down there too. Um, I will go in here. Because there is a closer and uh, another true alarm, so stay tuned for that. Another fire extinguisher case. So, yeah. Alright, guys, well, I did get the cover off, and as you can see, it is a Norton closer. Um, I was looking at this closer online, and this is a light duty closer, and it's pretty cool, and I would like to get one. I'm um, sorry for the shower noise in the background, but it's alright. So, here it is, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it has any preload. I'm not sure. I'm not going to put any on it because it's fine. So I did slow down the sweep and the latch. So and here's the cover, by the way. Right here. I took it off. And look at that. Made in the USA. Don't see that anymore. So the cover would just simply go on like that. And of course, a little sliding out knockout. It's a thick plastic, too. So let's go ahead and demonstrate it. I, so I adjusted the sweep and the latch. See, that's a lot better. Um, which is cool. I'll do that one more time. And it's a nice smooth latch and it's quiet instead of the other one that's slammed. So, there's the closer, and I guess, let's continue on with the video. Go focus. There we go.